So for today's project, I'm working on my wife's Grand Cherokee. I have to replace the wheel hub on here because it's making some grinding noises and uh, it's pretty loud out on the highway. So this is a Detroit Axle brand. I went ahead and got one that already had studs in it. I know there's two different kinds you can do, but figured it'd be a lot easier to get one with studs in already. So let's get started. Just to clarify, this is the 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee with the 4.7 liter V8. So here are some of the symptoms. Um, going down the highway, anywhere above about 35 it would start to make a whirring sound and the faster you went the louder it would get to about 60 and then it would be like a constant drone and it was at its peak annoyingness at around 65 or 70 um, but in between it was nice and quiet and then what definitely gave it away that it was the bearing was uh, say you're going out down the highway at 65 and you're going around a, a right hand turn then it would get quiet so that told me it had to be the bearing or the hub So the first thing we're going to have to do, we're going to take all the brake stuff off. So we got to remove the caliper first. That'll free this up, the rotor, to take that off. So let's get doing that. Tuck that up out of the way. Now sometimes on some vehicles there's a bolt that holds this on, but this one it doesn't look like there is so I might just have to smack it with a hammer. It's not coming off right away, so first I'll try and nail it. So this was another clue that told me that it was the um, bearing and seal going out. As you can see the gear oil in there leaking out. And it's, you can't tell much here, but it is on the brake a little bit. These are, these brakes are fairly new. They're only about uh, maybe two months old. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to remove these to take the hub off, but I'm going to anyways because they're covered in gear oil. So it'll help me, or I'll clean it up a little bit, that'll help. So I think what I need to do is just uh, remove these clips and these springs holding them in. And they should just pop out. Remove that spring too. So let's try that out. Time for a band-aid. Here's a tip. Always keep a first aid handy full of band-aids while you're working in the garage because it's almost guaranteed that you're gonna cut yourself or scrape or something and you'll probably need it. I should have had these on. Oops. 
getting there. There we go. Yeah, that's the top. Oh, I can get that. All right, now these are dirty. So now I have to remove these four bolts back here to take the hub off. So I'm just going to use, this is an 18 millimeter, and I got my hammer. I'm just going to hammer it down to loosen it up. Four of them are out. Let's try to take this off. There it goes. So you can see I got it pulled out, and the axle shaft is trying to come out with it too. So I need to separate this from this. I need to separate the hub from this. And gear oil is coming out, so I went ahead and I lowered. Lowered the other side of the axle, it's on the tire, and this is jacked up a little higher so that all the gear oil will run that way. Hey, Pete. So I'm just going to take a screwdriver and try to separate. Getting somewhere. There. All right. There it is. this on first. Seems like this is the problem here already. So I thought that this would go on a lot easier. So I just took the backing plate off and I'm just gonna tap it on with a hammer. Just back and forth. You can see, you can see there, it's all the way on. So a little word to the wise, uh, there is an O-ring that goes around here. Um, I didn't notice it at first. Uh, it probably would have been smart to put a little bit of lubricant around the edge before I put all this, or before I hammered this on. But luckily I didn't damage it or anything, so it'll be just fine. All right, now let's put this on. So it slides into the axle shaft at the same time as you put this on. Actually, you could probably pull the shaft out a little bit. Put that on first. There, I can feel it locked in. got to get the parking brake cable in there too at the same time. There we go. So, parking brake cable, axle shaft, and then the four bolts all go in at the same time. So now we'll put these four bolts back on.
walk it on. Do a little bit on that one, a little bit on this one. Just so it doesn't go on for good. So hopefully I get this parking brake right. Um, I did take some pictures, so I was referring to those pictures that I took um, before I took it apart. So basically, just put it back together how I took it apart. First of all, let me explain. It's been a long time since I've done drums, so I can't quite remember. But it looks like the trick is to put the pin in first, to hold it in at least. Now we put in this little piece. It slides in there. Okay, so this little spring goes here on the outside. I'm gonna use this little hook to pull it up. Actually, I don't even need it there. Now it's lined up. Before I put the rotor back on, I'm gonna clean it up with some brake clean because it did have a little bit of gear oil on it. Okay, I got the rotor back on. It spins freely. So the parking brake's not getting in the way. One thing I did notice is the kit didn't come with that little O-ring that goes around here on the hub. But I know on the front I don't have one either. And it doesn't really make that much of a difference, I don't think. I don't even know what it does, really. Anti-vibration or something? I don't know. Or maybe it just keeps all the crud from coming through here. the caliper back on. So there you go, that's how you replace the hub on a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, I hope it helps you out a little bit. It really wasn't that bad of a job. The hardest part is getting the um, emergency brake stuff put back together, but I have confidence that you'll be able to do it too if I can. Thanks for watching.